Hello everyone, my name is Luchara, and this is Spellcaster University, episode 5 of my Let's Play. Uh, we are getting near the end of our first school here in the village area. Word of Evil is going to be hitting fairly soon, but we are in relatively good shape. We've got two of our tasks done already. Our other task is at one of three. We just need two more demons, and we know, based off when we checked through our students at the end of last episode, we have at least two, or we have, we have at least one other demon already. And a couple of students that are on track to be a demon. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, we will try to push back the Lord of Evil as much as possible. To try to get as many little advantages going into our next school. Right? So let's pop another potion here. Although it's probably just going to be another cleaning potion or whatever. Alright. Dear head teacher, thank you. The entire teaching team would like to thank you for your support. The teacher's lounge, refractories, private apartments. We have everything we need. It's perfect. It's perfectly normal. So we can gain five prestige. We could get a second private apartments or a coffee machine. We already have a coffee machine, so let's just grab some prestige. And, ooh, reliquary. Technically, we need a reliquary for, uh, for the, whatchamacallit, the minstrel. But I need other things that I don't really have. <laughs> Heroes Chapel, Chamber of Truth. Uh, what was the thing? I, there's something I needed two of. Um, stable, that uh, clan banner. Let's get our work reputation up. Uh, cheese demonic installation shadow mana we will take that um yeah let's improve our assassin's arena good and we got millowing feather mandrake cork root root and alcohol another void potion i don't know do we have anything that needs a void potion no we just i had a second one so whatever <laughs> And let's push the Lord of Evil back by three. There we go. Give us a little more time, a little more room to breathe. You're dumb. We don't want you. Um, smart, light magic, slower. I mean, at this point, there's not really a point to take any new students on. They're not going to be here long enough to really learn anything, right? Um, gazebos are usually pretty good. I don't even know if I'm going to have a place I can put it, though. So I'm just going to go with the purple dragon. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Gazebo. Because these rooms can't be reached from the side. Yeah, anyway. Gazebo is pretty solid, though, usually. Scale, potion cards are more effective. That's really good. Would have been really good earlier on, because I did quite a few potions this run. When a student is at least level 2 in enchantment and runes, they receive mechanical wings, which makes them more likely to be offered more prestigious futures. Let's do that. Um, some of our people in the Nature Alchemy House should have that. Should be able to get that. Um, Mystical Eye. Draw card pyre, sure. Uh, yeah, let's throw that up there. Wild Breastplate. Assassination and Druidism. That's not a combination we have. It is pretty good, though. You gain Orc Reputation each time you gain a Shadow Magic level. Um, let's... Uh, Prove one of my janders. Or let's just put a third jander. I feel like making a third jander is better than improving one, provided you have the space. Right? I don't know. That's how I feel. I have no idea if that's accurate, though. All right. So let's um, suck up to the king so that next time we can go tell him to push the Lord of Evil back again. Smart and chosen by the light. Sure. Smart and passionate. You can go there. Alchemy expert. Uh, we got milling feathers. We got sleeper soul. We need a third thing. And yeah, let's use this cleaning potion. Sure. Light deck. Uh, Hero's Chapel. Pegasus. Let's go with the Hero's Chapel. Is this the thing I need to up for the minstrel? If it's not, that was a waste. Oh, and I do like upgrading the Hero's Chapel. You can actually see visual changes in the room. Um, oh, void potion right there. Got it. Um, the statues like turn like bronze. It's pretty cool. Or gold. I don't know. It's probably gold, not bronze. Wait, there's a lot of students leaving. Where where are all you going? Okay, what need am I not meeting of, of these students? Hold up. Tired. Tired. Uh, all the beds are full. Okay, I need another dormitory, apparently. That's on me. That's not good. 
And we got a Sylvan Elixir, natural mana. I'm going to go see the Minstrel again. Need, okay, so I have the two prisons. I don't have an Orc Hound. Or two Righteous Cloisters and a Reliquary. I think I have one Righteous Cloister, right? And I have the Reliquary. Pretty sure. Uh, another private bedroom, I guess. Since we need more beds. <laughs> and improve one of those beds instantly. And what's this guy want? A mole problem. For a while, students have been reporting holes around the school and shaking below ground. This might be a mole problem. Um, so we trigger a new event or we trigger a new event. All right, so we're our beastly experts are going to handle it. Okay, so our druids try talking with the moles, but it seems the school is built on a cursed cemetery. Awesome. Happens more often than you think. And it's actually skeletons digging up the grounds. They come to destroy us. Still, they did manage to convince a few to go away. We get attacked by four undead, or we lose 200 light mana. Let's four undead. We have multiple destructive potions to deal with them. Where are that? Which direction are they coming from? I don't see them. Oh, right here. Oh, I don't know if that actually did anything. Oh, yeah, okay. No, they're gone. All right, so... <laughs> Mole problem has been taken care of. Ooh, Righteous Cloister. Okay. So we have one Righteous Cloister. I mean, by the time we get rid of... The, the Lord of Evil is going to hit before we actually get rid of the whatchamacallit. But it's worth the try. <laughs> uh, Demonic Chamber, sure. Alcohol, Mandrake Orc, Root, Sleeper Soul, Void Potion. Don't think we need one of those right now. It's not really any point in taking new applicants. And we got some graduates. All right, the question is, <laughs> did we get a demon or two here? Um, all characters recover from hunger faster. We're going to take that. I know it's a small bonus, but they add up. We're going to reroll Adventurer. Magic Teacher is better. All new teachers have a, 1 a plus 1% 1 chance of uh, being better educators. Innkeeper, again, is fine. Goal Manufacturer... Let's re-roll that, because that doesn't provide anything for our next school or subsequent schools. Google does. All new students have a 2% chance of losing the claustrophobia negative trait. I forget which one claustrophobia is, but it's a negative trait. That's all we really need to know, right? We're going to re-roll adventure. We've got a lot of students that... What do you need for a goal and manufacturer? Enchantment 4, runes 1. Okay. So we've had quite a few goal and manufacturers. Beast Binder. Gain 10 alchemy mana each time you interact with the orcs. Uh, yes, please. Enchantment 4, Beast Magic 4. And 2 prestige. That's really good, though. Like, especially early on, if you don't have a way to get alchemy mana, you can just go visit the orcs a few times. I like that. Uh, we'll reroll Undertaker. More Demonology. Uh, we'll reroll Ranger. Librarian is good. There's a demon. We did it. So that's 2. We have two demons now. So yeah, so because we have a quest for this, if they meet the, the prerequisite, which is Demonology 5, Elementalism 3, it's just automatically demon. Um, yeah, 5% chance, a plus 5% chance of having the Shadow Disciple trait. That's really good. Because so, we're up to plus 10% chance now, right? And Warlock is fine. Adventure, let's reroll that. Hoping for Imp. And Village Mage is good, I guess. Uh, we'll take the Village Mage there. Reroll that looking for a warlock. And we roll this looking for a warlock or imp. Got like an 83% chance of getting one or the other, which we did. Um, Vigil Ante is good. Increase the efficiency of righteous cloisters. So my next school, I have uh shadow magic should be pretty easy to do. But all the warlocks, all the imps, the demons, right? Um, what's a bloodhound? Playing an artifact improves your relationship with the Inquisition by one. I do not think I've ever had this one. What do you need? Oh, oh, you need well, you need to be a werewolf, and you need retribution two and beast magic two. Yeah, I don't think I've, I don't recognize this one anyway. Yeah, village mate. Inquisitor increases all Inquisition reputation gains by one point five percent. You can get a few of these, right? Like if you have ten of these, 
15% can add up, right? Ink maker is not anything permanent, so let's reroll it. And neither is village range. I was hoping to get calligrapher. I'm not even sure what that does off the top of my head. Another warlock. Gotten a lot of warlocks. Uh, peasant, better than dead. <laughs> uh, peasant, better than dead. All right, so we still need a demon. We still need one demon. There we go. There's a, We got it. We got our demon. Unless Ellie somehow, like, dies. <laughs> we got our last demon. Perfect. Um, interdimensional room, sure. Well, now we could put a gazebo in if we get one, but Lord of Evil is going to hit here very, very soon. I don't think anything, nothing I do right now really matters, but I am going to try to push it back as much as possible, let my students learn a little more. Okay, why are so many of them are leaving? What are, what's, okay, you're, you're hungry. You're bored? You're bored. Well, you're... I hurt myself in the workshop. He likes sleeping among his own. So I did not... I do not have a common room or whatever for each each house. That's the problem. That's why that person's upset. Um, but hey, if you're enjoying this video, enjoying this series in general, do me a favor. Hit that like button. It helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. Everything, everything that gets me noticed by the algorithm is good. Yeah, um, okay, so we are going to push back or to be able one last time here. But yeah, once you hit year 12, it starts going faster, I find. Yeah, I, wanna, I just want to see what percentage bonus I have for this room at this point. No, that's the wrong room. 87% efficiency. So that's like <laughs> almost twice as fast they're learning demonology. Man, no wonder I have some level 5 demons. Um, active characters are blessed by the Atlantean Shrimp, which increases by 100% the gold they generate for 3 minutes. Sure. Why not? Are you being finicky? There we go. But again, this Lord of Evil is going to hit really soon here. So it doesn't really matter what I do. Might as well just fast forward here. Get to the end. I was going to say, can I get my second Righteous Cloister? All right, I, just, I do want to upgrade the Hero's Chapel. I, I don't remember if you need one changes the appearance of the statue or if you need more than one. Uh, the base, the, the gilding on the base of the statues got better there. I'm not going to take these applicants. And there's the end. All right, so this school is done. But we still get to graduate all our current students. We will get our third demon, right? So we got a craftsman. We'll take that. There's there's our last demon. So we did it. We did all three. Um, infirmaries are more efficient. That's a good thing. Reroll that. Yeah. Uh, Reroll that for another warlock. Nope. Standman, dormitories are more efficient. This is a really good one to build up. I do want to kind of see what like pet demon breeder is and postmaster, or master brewer. Um, yeah, that's a really weird. Clearly, they were in the alchemy nature house, but somehow they also gained two demonology. Animal archivist increases the efficiency of rune scriptoriums by one percent. Need beast magic two and runes two for that. Okay. Good. Another karmic healer. Another warlock. Another animal archivist. 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 Whatever. Another librarian. Lots of bonuses. Um, reduces all prestige losses by 0.5. Because with rounding, you need like a lot. I think you need a lot of these before they matter. But hey, it's something. It's a start, right? This is just one of many schools I'm gonna have, right? Um, we will take adventurer. Imp is good. Reduce the cost of shadow cards by one. Because, I mean, I have like five or six of these. So that's going to save a lot of shadow mana over the course of my career, right? And another warlock, another vigilante, racist cloisters. I actually I had a really good school considering I never got rid of the minstrel. <laughs> and dormitories are more efficient again. Increase the post learning rate by 1%. Elementalism dojos are 1.5% more efficient. Ooh, we need Assassination 3 and Elementalism 3 for that. Okay, that's a cool one. That person technically 
was could have been a demon as well. Like if the request required four, I would have had it. Um, Inquisition reputation gains, squires, whatever. Imp is good though. Smuggler doesn't help for future schools, but hey, at least I got another one off the list. Vigilante, yeah, because I've had a few vigilantes. Like I feel like this is up to like at least five percent. Village mage, sure. Squire, sure. Um, so yeah, so these students are kind of just, for the most part, well, never mind, I take that back. Another Beast Binder? No. Nope. Circus Handler. Let's re-roll that, see if we can get something that has a permanent boost. Gain five gold for every interaction with the king. Hey, that's a free five gold. That'll add up. I, I, over the course of the run, that will give me probably hundreds of gold, I would say. So we take that. And again, you can stack them up. Right? If you have five of those, getting 25 gold for a king interaction, it's pretty good. Oh, and this person could have been a guard. He didn't get it. They could have been. Uh, peasant is fine. Warlock is good. Elementalist increases the elementalism learning rate. Village mage is fine. Well, what's stone cutter? I forget what stone cutter is. Apothecary. Another one that I don't know if I've ever had before. Yeah, I know. Herbalism 3, Potions 3. I definitely would have had this before. Your students rest 0.75% faster. Another Man, how many? Like 20 Warlocks? I don't know. I feel like there's been a lot of Warlocks. All right, and this is just, you know, the students that I got late. that didn't really have a lot of time to learn. Although we got some, we did get a few things that provide bonuses. Unicorn Handler. Dolmen Room is more efficient. Another Warlock. I'll re roll that. Nope. And nope. Keep that. Yeah, we're just making. I'm just quickly looking up here to see if they have something that gives a bonus. Like this person, Vigilante does. So we'll re roll. Still got Village Guardian. 5% chance twice. Okay, another Warlock. Um, ooh, what's Puppet Master? Imp is good too. So let's re roll. No, nope. Gardener it is. Okay, that's what Stonecutter is. Um, Ritual Master. Craftsman, hey, it's only 0.5%, but we'll take it. And another Craftsman. And we'll finish with another Craftsman. All right. Goodbye, school. We did all three, so we unlocked a Legendary Spell Books. We will end this one. So how many... Oh, my God, 26 Warlocks. <laughs> That's a 26% boost to Demonology in all future runs. So, yeah. I need to try to get the demonology going, right? Take advantage of that. All right, so now, my next school. You can't go to the same place again. So we can do the forest, the desert, or the cliffs. I'm thinking the forest. New students are on average poorer than elsewhere, which is bad. More students are werewolves, which is good. The ancient troll might cause trouble, which you just got to visit them every so often, and I think... I think you can use either arcane or nature mana to keep them asleep. And a large buildable area, which is good. So we're going to go with the forest. All right, so this is my... For finishing all three, I get a level three spell book. So this is a bonus. There's like a, a, a roguelite. Roguelite, roguelike, whatever. I, I always get those two mixed up. Um, there's a roguelite or roguelike <laughs> feature, right? Because this bonus will apply to all subsequent schools so the intelligence of students is always one level higher that's good but you also have to take a negative one but usually well pretty much always the positive is better than the negative start each game with two house creation cards and two student recruitment cards don't you do that anyway there's a two extra i thought you did that anyway maybe it's one of each? I don't know. Room efficiency is improved by 1% per floor. So does that mean the first floor is 1% better, the second floor is 2% better, third floor is 3% better, etc.? Or does it mean if I have five floors, every room is better by five? I wonder. Hmm. I wish I knew. <laughs> I think the intelligence of students always being one higher is... Kind of a no-brainer. All right, so our curse, sloth curse. Your students' needs grow more often in bursts. That 
Forces of Evil close in faster, but your students improve faster. Probably going to go with that. New students already want to misbehave as soon as they arrive. Fires and portals take longer to be handled. Yeah, we're going to go with the Warp Curse. Because at least it has a positive as well as a negative, right? And this Warp Curse will apply to every place I have going forward. So, yeah. Okay, so you start with two new houses and one new student. So the card just gives you one extra group of new students. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't take that. All right. Kingdoms Great Forests are known for their giant millennium trees. We'll be at home here. Legends say that elves used to live in these woods, but everyone knows that elves don't exist. That's not true. I had elves in my school last time. <laughs> the local population lives more simply than the rest of the kingdom, so not expect any rich students. Students are poorer than usual, but have a higher chance of being werewolves. So we can start with a stable and a fawn. So stable obviously means we're going to start with uh, Nature Mana right off the hop. Um, which is good, and a, the fawn is a pretty good animal um, that goes around and helps deal with the needs. Is it teachers or students? I forget. Or we can take 900 gold, which just lets us draw out of the base stack more often. Or counselor's office and trophy case. I'm going to take the stable for nature mana right off the hop. All right, so and then we draw from the deck. Okay, so I'm thinking alchemy room. So we have Nature Magic and we have Alchemy Mana. Let's go with the Canopy Bed. Um, characters sleep in this bed lose their tiredness much faster and give gold to the school. Because we're going to be not making a lot of gold this time. And Shadow Room seems like a no-brainer. So we got Nature, we got Alchemy, we got Shadow. I'm okay with that. Students Hall. Um... Alchemy room. Good pedagogy. Uh, factory. Shadow room. Dormitory. No, stable. Stable first. Good pedagogy. And then, there, then the dormitory. Canopy bed and the fawn. Um, yeah, takes care of the growth rate. Decreases the growth rate of tiredness, hunger, and boredom of teachers. Um... Ooh, advanced. Yeah, let's go up the advanced room. So, so this is kind of unfortunate. I mean, these cards are all good. Don't get me wrong. But we already have Alchemy Mana Source. We already have Shadow Mana Source. I was hoping to get Light or Arcane Mana out of this. Jander's, Jander Lodge is also good. But I feel like if I just go Assassin's Arena, that means I'll be getting a lot of Shadow Mana which will get me Jander's Lodges in the future, right? Excellent pedagogy. We got the fawn. All right, so new house. What do we got here? We can go alchemy or nature. Uh, well-behaved, comical. So well-behaved, misbehaves half as much. Comical, reduces boredom for all other students. I'm going to go comical and let's go child of nature. This one will be nature priority for now. I might add something else later, and I will, once I do, I will forbid everything else. Green is good for that. Okay, and then our other new house. We will go shadow, jack of all trades. This one will be shadow focused. I mean, I could do shadow and nature, but so basically, I wish I would have picked alchemy for the first one. Right, because I could have done Shadow in Nature here. But um, it's not how it works. <laughs> All right, so Procrastinator, Athletic, Steadfast. Uh, you can go in Shadow, I guess. Brilliant, but allergic to crustaceans. You can go in Nature. Uh, ambitious Worker. Alchemy Apprentice. We still don't have either of these houses being tilted towards Alchemy. They're both allowed, right? I haven't, I haven't forbid it in, I haven't forbade or bowed anything in either house. How much money do we need? Oh, we only need twenty more bucks to draw out of that. That would be good. Oh, never mind. Now we need more because we had to just pay for stuff. <laughs> um, oh, great. We'll pay. Yeah, we'll pay our magic tax, I guess. <laughs> Ooh. 
All right, five applicants. Let's just kind of even between the two. Cane Scholar. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to get her cane right now. Oh, hey, Shadow Disciple. Shadow Disciple, you can go there. And they're brilliant. Richard Pollen, you can go there. But this is a decent start. Although, uh, I really wish I had a source of arcane mana. Because I'm pretty sure we use arcane mana to keep the troll asleep. I'm almost positive on that. Um, ages that can blow things up. That seems like it'll give me arcane mana. Yep, Elemental Stojo. Oh, I, I do want to take the Demonic Chamber. Because demon, uh, my demonology learning rate is so high from all those warlocks. But I, I'm taking the Elemental Stojo. All right, and ugh, not good. Although, Under the King's Protection is nice. While teaching this teaching may increase your reputation with the King, but mediocre pedagogy, bad pedagogy. All right, so let's change these houses a little bit. Um, so you can be nature... Let's mix Nature and Arcane. I'm going for new combos, right? Because I did Nature and Alchemy last time. So this time we'll do Shadow and Alchemy. And Nature and Arcane. Because that'll get us potentially different futures. Right? And then we'll throw Light in one of these. Once again, Light is the last thing, the last type of mana I get a source for. And who knows how long it is before I even get it this time. All right. Builders send their regards. Hi there. We're from around here. We don't like trouble, and we're not fond of strangers. What are you doing here exactly? All right. So we can gain light mana. We lose Inquisition faction, gain peasant faction, but that should give me a source of light mana. Or we can gain some natural mana and some peasant faction, or some shadow mana, lose peasant faction, but gain Lord of Evil. Um... I think I'm going to do light mana. And we got a chamber of truth. Retribution. All right. I guess that will go there. Since that's the only place I can put it. And we will... Let's start by sucking up to the orcs this time. I do like that reduces the cost of all cards by 5%. By 5% right? That's a nice one to get early. So let's start sucking up to them. And we already got... A demonic chamber. Nice. Because, you know, the demonology learning rate, it, it's not shown there, but it's high. Ooh, greenhouse, green bed. Go with the greenhouse. Oh, this troll is asleep. I can't put the greenhouse anywhere. It's only accessible from the sides, I believe. I think if I... Yeah, if you look right there, it's only accessible from the sides. And allergic to pollen, so you can go there. I do need to uh, turn on light in one of these houses as well. So this one is allowed to do light magic as well. All right. And um, actually, that's going to be all for this episode. We got a little start at our new school. Um, we got to get something. Why can't we put the greenhouse there, though? Oh, that one's not accessible. This one doesn't have side doors. Anyway, once we get another room of some sort, we'll be able to get our greenhouse in. I'm not overly concerned about that. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.